Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB Dodge Show 17. So we have a new event, the Speedsters event, which is coming out on August 22nd, tomorrow. So let's take a look at the event info. So the event is between August 22nd and September 5th. So we have about two weeks for this event. The games are three innings long, so that's better than the six innings that the last event was. The new Diamond Dynasty event in the show 17 will be the Speedsters event. Assemble a team of players with 75 speed or bronze or common players. Okay. So build your lineup. Events have their own dedicated lineup, but only player items from your inventory are eligible. We already knew that. The players with 75 or above speed can be diamond, gold, silver, bronze, or common rarity. So we're not really restricted with who we can put on our team, but all other players, including pitchers, must be bronze or commons. Your team overall can go as high as 75 overall, but the player overall minimum floor is 65 overall. So if you don't know what that means, basically your team is restricted overall to a 75 and you can't use players that are under a 65 overall. They kind of do that to restrict people from using lower end players so they can lower their team overall. So you need 75 or above speed and there's no restrictions in your batting lineup and then pitchers have to be bronze or commons which i'm kind of disappointed about because i wanted to use this event to get some of that pepe alazar grind done but we're gonna have to use players like justin verlander or jeremy hellickson so now on to the rewards so wins per entry if you get three wins you get a bronze player if you get six wins you get a silver player if you get nine wins you get a future stars lewis brinson a gold 87 overall card and at 12 wins, you get an all-star flashback Manny Machado, a 96 overall diamond. So the stats are not in the game right now, but they are on the blog on the Show Nation. So these are what the stats are for this card. He has 80 contact versus righties and 59 versus lefties, 91 power versus righties and 64 versus lefties, 74 vision. He has 92 fielding, 86 arm strength, 80 reaction, and 75 speed. So it's not a bad looking card right there. If I do get 12 wins, which I haven't in the last two events, but if I do get it, I'm definitely going to sell this card. Now on to the cumulative wins rewards. At 10 wins, you get a silver player. At 20 wins, you get a gold player. At 30 wins, you get a future stars pack, which guarantees a future stars player. And in those packs, they're all gold and above with two players in that pack that can be Diamond, Tyler, Glasnow, and Ahmed Rosario, which we did pack in our last pack opening so check that out and then at 50 wins we get that breakout flashback carlos gonzalez a 96 overall diamond so that card was pretty nice last year i'm pretty sure it's the same card so the stats from that card are 95 contact versus righties and 91 versus lefties 92 power versus righties and 88 versus lefties has 59 vision 82 fielding 92 arm strength 77 reaction and 76 speed so a pretty good hitting card that card is I'm going to go after 50 wins. I want this card on our lineup. We'll be going after that. But those are the rewards for the Speedster event. It lasts two weeks. So 50 wins in two weeks is not that bad. It's about four wins a day. So that's pretty simple if you're trying to get that Carlos Gonzalez. Manny Machado, a little bit more difficult. But that right there is the Speedster event. Let me know what you guys think about this event overall. And what you guys think about the rewards. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm out.